Good morning. I'd like to bring to order the March 2nd, 2022 Planning Advisory Commission meeting. Please rise for the pledge. Thank you. I'd like to remind everybody to please silence or turn off your cell phones and uh, also to let people know that we do have folks watching on television. So if you come to speak, make sure you're at the podium so everybody can, on TV can see and hear you as well. I remind those in the audience and those watching on TV that this is the first hearing of any rezoning or text change or special exception requests brought before us today. On each case, we'll first hear a reading of the staff report by planning staff and ask the applicant to give a brief overview of the request. We'll then give the opportunity for anyone in the audience to speak for or against that request or to ask any questions about it. The commissioners will ask any questions they have and then have any discussion they need. Once they make a motion and second a motion, a vote will take place and the commission will make a recommendation. That case will then go back to the planning department for its independent recommendation. And if a favorable recommendation is given, then the case is forwarded to the city council with the two independent recommendations for or against. If the planning department re recommends denial, the applicant will have 10 days from receipt of a letter stating the denial to notify the clerk of council that they're requesting to be placed on council's agenda. And when a case comes before council, council will hold a public meeting called its first reading of the case it will consider the case and review the PAC and planning department recommendations and hear discussion on the matter. And it will make a final decision at a second public meeting called its second reading. Our first agenda item today is to approve the minutes of the February 2nd meeting. Does anyone have any comments or corrections on those minutes? Okay, then let's consider those approved. And that brings us to the start of our cases today. Um, first of all, do we have people here, the applicant here for the 519 12th Street case? No, okay. How about the 4322 Rosemont Drive applicant? Are the three of you the applicants, the owners? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, then Mr. Renfro, could you read the staff report for case REZN 02-22? 0236. Yes, sir. Hold on. Oh, okay. The general land use is consistent for planning area D. The current land use designation is public institutional. The future is single family residential. It is compatible with the existing land uses. The property does not lie within the floodway and floodplain area. The developer will need an approved drainage plan prior to issuance of a site development permit if a permit is required. Property is served by all city services. Average annual daily trips will decrease from 297 trips from, from 390 trips if used for residential usage. Uh, the level of service will remain at a level B. The site shall meet the codes and regulations of CCG for commercial usage. There'll be no school impact, no buffer requirements, no Fort Benning, Fort Benning recommendation, no DRI recommendation. The surrounding zoning to the north is GC and NC, to the south is SFR3, to the east is SFR3, to the west is RMF2. 75 property owners within 300 feet of the subject properties were notified of the rezoning request. The planning department received two calls and or emails regarding the rezoning. There was just one in opposition and there's no additional information. Thank you, Mr. Renfro. Uh, I have a question about the person who opposed. Did they give any reasons for opposing? Uh, not particularly. Okay, thank no. you. Um, okay, do commissioners have any questions for Mr. Renfro? No. All right. Um, are the applicants who have made the motion uh, requesting the rezoning present? Okay, so y'all are not the applicants, but interested parties. All right, then why don't we go ahead to the third case uh, because we need the applicants here to make their presentation. Uh, Mr. Renfro, can you read the staff report for case REZN 02220237? The 
general land use is consistent for planning area D. The current land use designation is vacant, undeveloped. The future is general commercial. It is compatible with existing land uses. The property does not lie within the floodway and floodplain area. The developer will need an, need an approved drainage plan prior to issuance of a site development permit if a permit is required. Property is served by all city services. Average annual daily trips will decrease to 384 from 1,746 trips. If used for commercial usage, the level of service will remain at a level B. The site shall meet the codes and regulations of the CCG for commercial usage. There'll be no school impact, no buffer requirements, no Fort Benning recommendation, no DRI recommendation. The surrounding zoning to the north is NC and RMF2. To the south is LMI. To the east is LMI. To the west is MROD. 90 property owners within 300 feet of the subject property were notified of the re rezoning request. The planning department received no calls in or emails regarding this rezoning. There's no additional information. Thank you. Commissioners, are there any questions for Mr. Renfro? Yes, sir. Is, I mean, does this fall under MROD as well, um, the mill restoration, uh, the mill restoration overlay district? Does this particular property fall within that district? No, it does not. Um, this property will be replatted, and the reason that they're asking for this rezoning is we don't actually allow one parcel to have two different zoning classifications on it. So they're re once they replat this to, to actually do the development, it will all need to be general commercial to be permitted. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you. If there are no other, uh, yes. No, we're not. We're waiting for the applicant to arrive, and it, okay, that's what we yeah. Know, but if we didn't know, we didn't know what we were here yet. That, okay. That's fine. No problem. Um, okay. Will the applicant uh, for the Warm Springs Road case please come forward, state your name and address for the record, and describe your request. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me. My name is Graham Stewart. I am with... Uh, the applicant, and we are requesting to rezone the 9.37 acres for the development of a uh, medical uh, office building. Uh, it will also be an ambulatory surgery center. Um, the building will be approximately 60,000 square feet. And in order to uh, be able to do what we want, we are requesting, or we have been informed by our civil engineer that we need the uh, GC zoning, and that is what we are requesting. Uh, I apologize, uh, our presenter is not here, so if there are any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Okay, commissioners? Uh, what company are you representing? Uh, I am with Cantrell and Morgan, and we are the uh, entity handling the uh, development for SIDLED investments. We're, we're the developer. Okay. If there are no other questions from commissioners, is there anyone in the audience who uh, would like to speak in favor of the request? Okay. Please come forward and state your name. Uh, thank you all for having this meeting. Uh, Mike Johnson, 2814 Peabody Avenue. I received the mail about the notification of zoning change. And we look forward to this company coming in. Uh, this property is located adjacent to Waverly Terrace Historic District. And that's what we are really concerned about. And really, we don't have concerns except one, the construction traffic and I'm not saying stop, I want y'all to come, I want you to go. <laughs> but the construction traffic on 29th Street, which is already basically a cut through in Waverly Terrace Historic District, is going to have much more traffic construction and all that. So I had a couple of questions. How long is the construction plan to take? And will there be any oversight by Columbus City for road damage, there's always dirt, debris, that kind of thing. Will there be some cleanup action expected from these, from the folks? Or will the city be doing that? Or 
Do we just report 311 like normal, or I just we're concerned about the traffic and, and debris. Okay, thank you. Mr. Renfro, can you address the second yes, question? Yes, sir. The engineering department will handle the traffic and how all of that works during the construction process. They'll work with the developer and, and the contractor to take care of that as far as after the fact, um, 311 and engineering again will be who you need to contact for that as well. So. Okay. Uh, we hope to start this summer, and it'll take approximately 16 to 18 months at the most. And we will will be very aware of the surrounding properties and, and well, take care of it. And we, Not we look forward to you growing there. That, that Absolutely. The city and the neighborhood. We really think it's good if we want to check that traffic flow. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate Absolutely. It. Okay. Thank you. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak against this request? All right, seeing none, would any commissioner like to make a motion? <laughs> I'll make a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion in, with regards to case REZN 02220237, request for zone 9.76 acres land, located at 1311 Warren Springs Road. I'll make a motion that we approve this uh, as compatible with existing land uses. Okay, do we have a second? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. And it's unanimous, thank you. Okay, um, do we have thank the you. applicants for either of the other two cases, 519 12th Street or 4322 Rosemont Drive? All right, if we don't have those applicants present, I don't know that we can do anything other than table the cases until our next meeting. We can't, we'll just have to table them until next meeting. Um, new letters will be sent out to all the property owners, uh, alerting them of the new, new time and date. Um, other than that, that's all we can do at this point. Okay, okay. then. I need to make a motion to uh, table the okay. cases. Uh, would you make a motion then? I just did, I, well, I guess I did. Okay. We will make a motion to table both of these cases, REZN 0821-1521 and REZN 0222-0236 to the next meeting. Any seconds? All those in favor? It's unanimous, thank you. All right, as far as uh, other business, our next meeting is two weeks from today on March 16th. And we have three cases scheduled, plus I assume these two from today. So it That's could right. be a long meeting, be, be prepared. Um, and seeing no other business, the meeting's adjourned. Thank you.